Thanks, Jillian. It is time now for our Common Ground segment. Joining us tonight, Colorado Republican Congressman Ken Buck and California Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Uh, talking tonight about artificial intelligence and AI uh, and how bipartisan concerns about that may play out on Capitol Hill. I want to play the soundbite of tech leaders about that. My worst fears are that we cause significant, we, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. I think it's, there's, there's, a, there's a strong probability that it will make life much better uh, and that we'll have an age of abundance. Um, and, and there's some chance that it goes wrong um, and uh, destroys humanity. It's that last part that no one really likes. Congressman Liu, I'll start with you. What's being done about it in a bipartisan way? Uh, thank you, Brett, for your question. It's an honor to be on your show with my friend Ken Buck. We both believe in American innovation. And we want to make sure that America leads in the field of artificial intelligence. At the same time, if it's completely left unchecked and unregulated, then it could cause harm. And that's why we're proposing a bipartisan blue ribbon commission to have people far smarter than us make recommendations to Congress as to what kinds of AI to regulate and how we might want to go about regulating that AI. Congressman Buck? Well, I agree with what Ted said. I think the key is that we uh, maintain our leadership position in the world on AI. Uh, we are ahead of China, and that's where we need to stay. We don't want to start government regulation that stifles that innovation. What we should be doing is setting a general framework and making sure the regulatory agencies have the resources they need to do the job. Congressman Liu, you were in this hearing, and this is uh, Congressman McCormick. Take a listen. As policymakers, we must strike a delicate balance between fostering innovation and protecting our national security interests. By doing so, we can harness and trans uh, a, a, the transformative potential of AI. In fact, that whole statement was produced by AI at Chat GPD. Well, how many of those speeches are getting uh, produced by AI there now, Congressman Liu? Uh, as a recovering computer science major, I am enthralled with AI, and I've had my staff use it. And we actually issued the first press release, all written uh, by AI. I do know my staff did add in a sentence saying nothing in here means that they're going to get fired anytime soon. There's going to be some jobs that will be eliminated, and we need to be prepared for these labor disruptions as well. Yeah, and Congressman Buck, this bill, the National AI Commission Act, uh, the key focus area is to review federal government approach to oversight and regulation, recommend new governmental structures, establish binding risk-based approach. I, I hear your concerns about not letting China or other countries go further than, than we are. Right, we are behind right now. The, the private sector has moved very quickly with AI. We're, we're seeing the fourth, fifth generation already of, of AI technology. Now it is very similar in my mind to the internet. We really didn't know what the internet would bring. We're gonna see bad actors using AI in certain ways. And you know, you look at the polling on this, concerned about artificial intelligence, extremely concerned, 25%, very concerned. 31 percent, not very, 34 percent. So it is building in the, the consciousness of Americans. Uh, and that's a good thing. I want Americans to first of all try out ChatGPT or Google Bard or Microsoft Bing. It's all similar technology and they will see for themselves how advanced AI has gotten. It can spread disinformation very rapidly. It can be used for cyber hacking and it can also uh, be used for scams. Now, thank goodness the creators of this new AI so far have put in guardrails to prevent that from happening, but that doesn't mean that future companies or other countries are gonna do that. How much do you think it factors into elections, Congressman Buck? I mean, we're probably going into our first AI-affected election here with uh, deep fakes and all kinds of images and, and uh, audio that can be adjusted. I think it does, and I, I think uh, the American public just has to uh, understand that a lot of what they're going to be seeing is going to be influenced by AI. If there is a, a cyber hacker in, in China or North Korea or, or some other country going into bank accounts in, in the U.S., hopefully uh, AI in the U.S. will be able to uh, act more quickly than we have at this point. It sounds like this is a full bipartisan effort. There are a lot of things that aren't, but this one sounds like it's got buy-in on both sides. Uh, absolutely, there is nothing partisan about AI, and I want the American people to understand that AI is not a human being. 
It's not a person, it is a tool. And we wanna make sure that we can use this tool to benefit society, not harm society, and to make sure that America continue, continues to lead in the area of artificial intelligence. Yeah, Brett, I would just say that, uh, you know, everything on Capitol Hill is partisan. Uh, this is something that has really brought people together. Congressman Liu was, was great and brought Sam Altman in for a, a dinner. Uh, we had 100 something members uh, attending that dinner. A lot of great questions and concerns, not a single partisan issue raised. And, and I think that's really the nature of this is it's so important that we get this right, that we will undoubtedly have some partisanship, but most of it will be set aside. Congressman, thank you both for being on Common Ground.